In this video, we're going to go over section 1.2 homework. I'm going to go over some selected exercises from this section. Starting with number seven, it says name an angle or angles in the diagram shown to the right described by the following. Note that O, the vertex, lies on both line MH and line BD. We're trying to find the angle or angles that are complementary to angle SOD. All right, so complementary to angle SOD, let's highlight that. All right, we know that when two angles are complementary, they add to 90 degrees. All right, so look at your diagram here. We want to form a right angle. We want to add or include or identify an angle that when we added it to angle SOD would form a right angle. So I can see one here. We did this. That would form a right angle, right? So this angle here, that would be angle D O H. Right, so that's there. But there's another angle here that is equal to angle D O H. It's the ver it's vertical angle. So if we go straight across this angle here, M O B, that would also be complementary to S O D since these two angles are vertical angles. They are equal. All right, so do y'all see BOM or MOB there? No, so we don't need to select anything else. All right, in the diagram shown to the right, find the measure, excuse me, in the diagram shown to the right, the measure of angle ACB is 56 degrees. All right, so that's this angle here. Hold that's 56 degrees. And they're asking us to find the measure of angle ACD. All right, so just going to erase that. All right, we know that this angle here is 56 degrees. Note that switch over to my laser pointer. Note that this angle here is a right angle right, and it is supplementary to this angle which would be ACD. ACD. That's what we're asked to find the measure of ACD. Since it is supplementary to this A C F. It forms a linear pair. That means that this angle plus this angle here need to add to 180 degrees. Since this is a right angle, that forces this angle to be a right angle, and therefore the measure of that angle is 90 degrees. For 12, use the notation on the diagram shown to the right to find the following angle measure. The measure of angle KVM. KVM. It's here. We're told that this angle here, KVY, angle KVY is 34 degrees. But notice that this angle here, angle, let's say, VYM, so this angle here. Let me switch to my laser pointer, sorry. This angle here is equal to angle KVY, since they both have the double lines. All right, so that tells me that angle VYM is also 34 degrees. Angle KVM, that's what I'm asked to find, KVM, 
ABM is just where we are combining those two angles. So that would be 34 degrees plus 34 degrees, which is 68 degrees. Number 13, a beam of light in a mirror can be used to study the behavior of light. Light that strikes the mirror is reflected so that the di excuse me, so that the angle of reflection and the angle of incidence are congruent or equal. In the diagram, angle ABC has a measure of 55 degrees. So let's label that. So angle ABC, that's here, is 55 degrees. We're asked to find the angle of reflection and its measure. All right, so here we have the angle of reflection, the angle of reflection, B according to the diagram, angle BC, excuse me, CBD. Okay. All right, so a couple of things that I'm noticing. Angle CBD, that is the angle of reflection. So that was the first question. It says name the angle of reflection. So the name of the angle would be angle CBD. Now we can work on finding this measure. All right, so what I'm noticing is that this here must be a right angle. Okay, so let's add that little line in there. That's because it's supplementary, or it forms a linear pair with CBF. All right, so since I know that that's 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees. This takes up 55 degrees, so 90 minus 55 is, what's that, 35? All right, so just filling in parts of the diagram here, that's 35. This forms a linear pair, or excuse me, excuse me, let me say that again. This forms a vertical angle, or A, B, E, A, B, E, and D, B, F, form vertical angles. So we know that those are equal, so we can label this one 35. What does that force angle CBD? What does that force the measure of angle CBD to be? Since this forms a right angle, that means these two, CBD and DBF, need to add to 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle here, the angle of reflection, must be 55 degrees. So let's fill that in, 55 degrees. Notice that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. That is always true. Incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. All right, now we're asked to find the measure of A, B, D. A, B, D. All right, so we just add those two angles together, 55 plus 55, that would give me 110. All right, so that's 55. Well, let me write it off to the side. So this is how I found this. I did 55 degrees plus 55 degrees. That's 110 degrees. 
And then the last part, they're asking me to find the measure of ABE. ABE, we've already found that, that's 35 degrees. And then DBF is also 35 degrees. All right, so let's fill those in. Excuse me, 35. 35. Oh, they already have the little degree symbol on there, so we don't necessarily need to write the degree symbol. Okay. So that one looked kind of complicated, but it's actually not terribly difficult. Number 17 says, identify the polygon. If it's not a polygon, state why. If you recall, there are three conditions. Um, in order for a figure to um, qualify as a polygon, there are three conditions that must be met. First, it says it must be a plane figure formed by three or more line segments, which are called sides. Sides that have a common endpoint must be co must be non collinear. And lastly, each side intersects exactly two other sides, but only at their endpoints. All right, so this figure is not a polygon because it has, there's a side that intersects more than two other sides. So for example, here we're seeing this side intersecting with one, two, and then also this side here and the top of the square. So that's four sides that it's intersecting with. So we would say this figure is not a polygon because there's a, uh, there's a side that intersects more than two other sides. Number 29 says, what is the most specific name for a triangle with the following measures? So it tells us that we have sides of seven centimeters, seven centimeters, and 10 centimeters. If we have two sides that are equal, two sides are equal or congruent, that is called an isosceles triangle. Let's put a check mark there instead of an X. All right, so if you need any additional help with this homework, please reach out to me and let me know. I'll see you guys next time.